What's going on guys? Welcome back. Okay, so in this video, we're going to talk about our not provided right here that shows up in our, in our organic search. Very frustrating for a web owner to know, to not know what people are Googling to come across our website. Why does Google do this? Well, they do it for a lot of reasons, but the most important reason I can think of is because they want you using AdWords. They don't want you getting all your traffic organically and then knowing where it's coming from and then kind of capitalizing on that and even making that more bigger traffic. So they have it not provided. Uh, they say it's because they want to protect the user. Anybody who's logged in on Google or YouTube, whatever they search on Google will show up as not provided. It's part, it's part of their privacy act, but it's really, it's because they want people using AdWords. <clears throat> That's how Google makes all their money. There's ways around this though, not 100% accurate ways around this, but I've come up with methods and procedures how I can kind of uh, get a good glance at what this not provided is. So what we need to do is let's go ahead and Google Google Web Master Tools. Click up here. Let's click on that bad boy. Okay, so I've already got a couple sites logged in with my Web Master Tools. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go going to go over to Add Site right here. Add your URL or add your URL, whether it's, you know, www.yourname.com, www.villageparksource.com. So I'll just see what happens. We'll do www.villagepark. See what happens. Okay, so it's going to give you a little piece of code. So you're going to take this code and what you're going to want to do is you're going to copy and paste it and you're going to want to put it into in between your head tags on your website. So if you're on uh, WordPress or a Joomla or something like that, probably WordPress, you're going to want to track down your header.php file. Let me see if I can do it. Let me see. Let me pause the video. So I just logged into my WordPress or a WordPress file and uh, go to header.php and anywhere in between your head tags, here's your opening head tag. You just plop it right in there. I already have it set up though, so I'm going to delete that. Let's take this bad boy out and save that. And once you've added it right there, uh, click verify down here and it should take like three seconds and Google will let you know if it was successful or if it was unsuccessful. So I think that's all I want to do for this video. That's kind of a long video, so I want to just do it in a two part series. So just make sure you're caught up with this, with this so far, click verify. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video where we'll study our webmaster tools to see some of that not provided information. All right, guys, good luck.